it down because I'm watching Lee J. Um, but I kind of, so I kind of am going to do a come shopping with me. I'm not really sure how this is going to be yet, but I want to kind of vlog it. So I'm about to go to the mall. Let me close my door for a little bit. So I'm about to go to the mall. Um, Father's Day is tomorrow, so I need to pick up a gift for my father and stepfather and then um I'm going to I really want to add like some bronzer or something to my face because it just looks overly fat but whatever I want to go to Sephora because I a I got like a lot of stuff I need to get from Sephora honestly um I need to get some more toner um, so I'm going to see they have my toner. I usually do the Mario Badescu uh, toner, but I usually get it from Ulta, but I don't feel like going all over the place. So I'm going to see if Sephora has it, get the toner. Um, I need to get my, both of my foundations in a darker color because I feel like um, my tan is real right now from running. So I need to go a shade darker. Um, usually what I do with my foundations, I have like a summertime and a wintertime foundation, um, foundations because I get darker in the summer, of course, and I get pale in the winter. So I'm going to see about foundations. I need to pick up a new concealer. Um, so I took a picture of that and my concealer is the NARS. I think I told y'all about this. I might check out another one, but we're going to see. Um, so I need a new concealer. I want to see about this. Um, I don't know if y'all watch Kira Monique. I think that's her last name. But she just released her skincare video. And it was something on there that she like swore by. So I'm going to see. They sell it at Sephora. So I'm going to go to Sephora and see if they have it. Um, I'm probably going to get just like the five day routine and see how that works. It's supposed to really smooth out your skin. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need from Sephora? I need to go to Zara because I want to get a pair of jeans. And um, I might look and see what else they have. Uh, and I might look for some stuff for my son too, some clothes. And I think that is about it right now. I haven't been to the mall since quarantine, so that's a lie. I went to Tyson's a couple of weeks, like three weeks ago when I got my nails done just to see what was open. Nothing was open, but Forever 21 and the line was so long. I don't really shop at Forever 21, um, so I didn't even bother to even stay. I just literally went into the consignment store that I told you guys, got, I told you guys about, Shop Blessed to see what they had in there um if they had any more sh like any new shoes or something that I might be interested in um but I didn't see anything I went to Uniqlo though and picked up a shirt for my son and then a shirt for my sister because it was her birthday so I just went to Uniqlo shop bless grab a coffee and was out um because nothing was open but everything should be open right now in Maryland Annapolis Mall just opened um, this today. Today is just like opening. And then in Tyson's, Tyson's has been open, but I checked to see Zara is finally open now. So I'm going to head to Zara. So I think I've told you guys like the Zara's in um, DMV area. Okay, I'm a pro at the Zara's. I know which ones you should go to and which ones you shouldn't. So it's one in Annapolis, one in Tyson's, one in Pentagon, one downtown. And that's that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to make sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's the Zara in Annapolis, Zara downtown, Zara in Pentagon, and Zara in Tyson's. Um, there was a Zara in Georgetown. They closed that. And um, I think they closed that because they opened the Pentagon one and that's two levels. And the Zara in Georgetown, it was nice, but it was small as hell. Um, but that's it for the Zara's really. 
and so I know my Zoss, okay? I know which ones, depending on when it's nice. Um, but for me, it's like everyone kind of goes there because it's the better Zara than the downtown one. The downtown Zara to me is like, it's always just too much. And that's the only Zara like in downtown DC. So if you're a tourist, if you're just anybody in downtown, that's the go-to Zara. And I don't need to go where everybody else goes. So the Pentagon one is nice. It's newer. But I still am like, uh, I don't know. It's it's a big Zara though. I really do like it. The Tyson's one is okay too. But my go-to one is Annapolis. Okay. First of all, okay, it is three stores. It was three separate, like three separate stores before they made it. It was like an aero, like a holiday, like no, it was an Abercrombie store. And you know how Abercrombie has the main store and then the men's store. Well, they closed both of that, and both of those became like the men's are, and then the women's are, and then they closed another Zara. Um, they closed another store, and that was made into the kids side of Zara. So it's the men's, the women's, and then the kids. It's huge. For me, it's huge. It's like, it's huge. So um, for me, I love that Zara because number one, I never have to worry about sizing. I feel like because it's in Annapolis, um, because it's in Annapolis, like a lot of people in Annapolis really don't shop at Zara. Like Annapolis is and um <laughs> not only that but it's just it's 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 a different audience okay because i used to work at the nordstrom's there i i just i it's always a win when i go there i never have a problem to me they have the best kids section i don't know because pentagon does have a good kid section too um honestly for me it's either the annapolis or the pentagon one those are like top two. Tyson's used to be like everybody's favorite, but for me, Tyson's has kind of dropped off. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to go because both locations has Sephora and Zara. Um, excuse me, but I don't know. Like, I really don't know which one I'm going to go to. Um, and I need to get some gas too. That's like priority. I need to go to two bars. Um, sorry, Ellie is doing some talking right now. Okay, she is going yet. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. But I'm about to get ready to go. I'm trying to figure out if I want to change my bag because I have my open ceremony um, shopping bag, like laundry shopping bag, right now. But I'm thinking I might change to my Supreme crossbody just so i don't gotta be carrying a bag with my son um so i think i may do that real quick i'm probably i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i'm probably leaning more towards tyson's because tyson's has the shot bless the uniqlo um if i go to annapolis annapolis only has like the sephora and the zara but maybe i should just go there so i don't spend money h&m is cute there actually the h&m in tyson's is better than the h&m in annapolis so I may go to Tyson's, honestly. Um, I've been going to Virginia a lot and I just, Virginia is way more open in Maryland right now. So I know if I go to Virginia, things are gonna be open. So um, let me show you at least what else I have on just like this Zara tee. It's the Zara Women's Spring 2018. It was like their little Zara tees, which I love. It's like very oversized and I just wear this. It's just like a regular tee. Um, some biker shorts. I forgot where I got these from. Um, maybe Pretty Little Thing. Um, my kit rain jacket, which you guys see me wear, has oh, the kit sign on the back. Um, but it's thunderstorming outside, so and it's hot as hell. So perfect day to wear this reflective jacket. And then my rain shoes, just my rain shoes, um, which I've like purposely messed up. I wear these to concerts, like everything. Um, so I don't care about them. It's they come with it or some play shoes. I got them um, off a consignment website, which I'll plug to you all later on, but they don't even sell this style anymore. 
um so yeah that is my outfit i'm probably going to i think because i have on this rain jacket i'm gonna go ahead and just wear my opening ceremony jack uh opening ceremony uh shopping bag tote got this on sale like winter last year um and it's just like my style honestly very simple it was cheap but i love this style for me i don't care more about the price tag like if it's my style I, i'll buy it so probably just gonna end up wearing that but yeah y'all this is my outfit let's get ready to go I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is the line. It's around the corner. It looks like it's literally like 10 people in the store. This is gonna take probably an hour. So I couldn't really like show a lot because my son was getting restless at this point. So I had to give him my phone, <laughs> but um, it was lines, like the lines were real. Um, actually that Zara line I showed, it went fairly fast. Like maybe after five minutes, it just zoomed. So we honestly didn't go that, like, we honestly went really fast and got in there. Honestly, not mad because the shopping was really good. Um, the only thing I hate is that I can't try on. So I really want to get like jeans and stuff like that. Like jeans are on my to-do list to get. But I want to try them on before I buy them. And you can't try on stuff in stores right now. So I'm just not willing to take that risk. And then take them home and then bring them back if they don't work. Because um, again, y'all know I've been losing weight and stuff. So I just don't want to do that. Um, so we went in Zara, and then after that, we went to Sephora, which was another wait, but um, they didn't have the Mario Badescu. I'm going to have to just go to an Ulta or order it, but, um, or curbside. I didn't even think about curbside pickup, but now I'm going to do it. But I ended up getting this peel that I wanted, and I ended up going ahead and getting the NARS. Um, but I'll show you guys what I got. And then we went to Unique Glow because I get my son's t-shirts from there and they actually had a good deal. I'm glad I went in there. So I ended up getting him a few t-shirts, like summer shirts to wear. I get him like the good graphic tees because they have good collabs in my opinion. Like they had um, a Super Mario one, um, a Pokemon one, and then they have really good just like regular t-shirts and they have them in nude and colors that I really like that you can find in the adult colors so picked up some for them I ended up picking up like a regular white t-shirt from there because I hated the t-shirt that he had on it was something that was like gifted to him that was honestly really just like from maybe like Old Navy or something and it was like a baseball shirt and it just was not I, I hated that shirt but I put it on because I haven't washed his clothes yet 
Um, so a lot of his stuff is dirty. So, but I, I couldn't even stand that shirt no more. So I ended up just buying a $5 little t-shirt to put on him to switch out in sis it makes the difference i went to shop blessed to look around they didn't have really anything and that was at the uniqlo um i was gonna i went in h&m but h&m was just like too much for my soul i couldn't even deal with it it was so crowded in there the line was long h&m's like if it's looking dirty nine times out of ten it is dirty <laughs> So they actually had good jean deals, but I couldn't even just like for the life of me, like, well, those jean deals, they were cheaper. So I'm like, okay, I don't have a problem buying them and then returning them if they don't work. Like I've been looking for some straight leg pants, but I refused to stand in that line. It was just like too much. Um, it, it was just too much. And it was, it was too much for my soul. Um, I found Nixon a jacket in there, but it was, I was just like, even a jacket isn't worth it to stay in, in this dead online. So, no. Uh, that I'll honestly just order. So now we're, we were at Tyson's Galleria. We're about to head over to the other Tyson's. But we're going to head over here because I did receive an email at Gucci that they're having a sale. So I want to check it out and see what they have. Um, and I might go to Sweet Green too. They're having, um, so if you didn't hear me, Gucci sent me an email saying they're having a sale. And I wasn't going to go, but I saw quite a few people in the mall with Gucci. And it just enticed me to go since I'm over here. I'm going to go to the Gucci store really quickly. And then I probably, I haven't decided if I'm going to sit down and eat somewhere. Or if we're going to, um, if I'm going to sit down and eat somewhere or if we're just going to get something to go, I'm really leaning towards getting sweet green right now. But then I really want to sit down at Cheesecake Factory because it's been a minute and I want Cheesecake Factory. So, yeah, we're about to get out the car now and go. I still didn't get a Father's Day gift, so I'm probably going to pick something up while I'm in here real quick and see what they have. I'm probably just going to get gift cards. I'm not even going to lie to you. My stepfather doesn't really care for expensive things. And if I was going to get him something, I should have got him at the other Tyson's. And my other dad, he said get him a lottery ticket. So that's that on that. <laughs> period. A lot of ticket period. So I'm going to just go in this Gucci store. Um, I really want a pair of just black Gucci socks to go with my, um, my regular shoes. So we're going to see what they have. I'm not even going to take my bag. Cause it's kind of useless at this point. Um, I am going to put my glasses on so I can properly see. I may go in socks too, just to see if they're having a good sale. Um, shout out to all my little socks people that I know. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm looking at. So we tried to go, and that was a fail because I didn't know that the more expensive side of Tyson's closes at 5 p.m. No, yeah, 5 p.m. Like, in what world? <laughs> the store is closed at 5 p.m. Like, 5 p.m. I know I thought the store is closed at 7, but it was 5 p.m. Like, I'm still in disbelief. And, yeah, I don't think I'm coming back here tomorrow just to look at Gucci style. I'm not gonna do that. Like, it's nothing in there that I really want um from gucci honestly truly and then we were gonna try to do cheesecake factory but honestly that was just like i don't even know if they're open on the top it looked like they're only doing curbside so that was pointless um i wanted to go to sax couldn't do that um so yeah that was a pointless trip because we didn't know it was um yeah that was super super pointless <sighs> hey y'all okay <laughs> it's been let me see i went shopping on saturday so it's tuesday it's been a couple of days um but i just wanted to show you what i got um if y'all haven't seen this is my natural hair i'm wearing it right now i'm thinking i'm gonna put it in a weave on friday um well, i keep doing that it sucks 
um but i'm probably gonna put in a weave on friday but right now i just went over my natural hair because i've been working out heavy this week or i'm going to it's tuesday but i've been working out i'm gonna be working out heavy but i just wanted to show you what i got from the mall this week um so i'm gonna show you what i got from sephora and then after that zara um I also said I went to Uniqlo, but I got my son's clothes and I'm not going to show that. If y'all want to see kids clothing, I can do that in another video um, or do that later on. But right now I'm going to show you what I got. All right. So this is what I got from Sephora. I know I said that I was going to get a couple of stuff, but they didn't have the Mario Badescu, um, the toner that I want. But I did get my nars concealer i ended up getting this and getting it in the full size and again my color is caramel so like in all my concealers in honestly foundations i'm always like a caramel it's always going to be a caramel color for me um and then i ended up getting these dr dennis gross gross dr dennis gross the alpha beta university daily peel and i saw this I don't I think I said it before but I saw this from Kara Amonique um on YouTube and she just talked about how like she did her skincare routine she had really bad acne but she cleared it up and she said this out of everything like you should pick up it smoothed out her skin it cleared it up so I wanted to try this out because I do have you know a little bit of dark spots but I'm just trying to like get rid of my dark spots and like clear out my skin now it looks clear but y'all i mean you know your body you know your skin you know when it's good and when it could be better so i just wanted to try this out it comes in like a 60 day treatment that is like 88 dollars. and anytime i'm trying it like anytime i purchase something that's new that i have not used yet i always get a tester like some form of a tester like the nars concealer when i went back to it i got little like travel size testers because i need to try it out for like two weeks to figure out how my skin reacts like you need a two week minimum to try it out to see how your skin is going to react like one or two days you'll see a difference but two weeks is gonna let you know if you want to continue to use it long term so with this i got the five treatment ones and it's in the little travel size like when you're going when you're waiting in line to get to the register and they have all those little like bins and stuff that's where they had these at so i got the five treatments with these treatments because they're so harsh for your skin um they recommend you using it like once every other day so i know my skin is sensitive so i've been using it once every day like once every other day um i just used my second one last night um and so far so good like my skin is doing really good the last thing i got was like you know you get a gift with purchase this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil i got it in a neutral brow medium let me show you what i got from zara. let me show you what i got from zara i only picked up four things um <laughs> y'all know i wear black and white so that's pretty much what i picked up so i ended up just getting just this bra this zara um white t-shirt this was $12.90 and it's a size medium um they had a lot of colors of these um but I just wanted just like a nice cute regular white t-shirt um just to transition into like fall even wear in the winter time if I want to you know a short sleeve t-shirt I don't have like a white tee in this like white line right here it looks I like it in the white line honestly because it makes it look a little bit more expensive so I wanted to try this out and see how I like it and then if I like it and I wear it a lot I'm going to get it in other colors speaking of that you guys already know I talked about this in my Zara Essentials um, basics in my last video I'll link it right here just in case but y'all know I love it's just this straight top this it's like what is it what is it called it's called the wide strap tank and it's for $12.90. I have this in the green and in the nude. And I told y'all I was going to get it in the black. So I ended up getting in the black. And then I saw a white one. And I was like, all right, let me just pick up the white one too. And again, in the medium. And it's 12 dollars 
and I just love this especially for like summertime it's just a great everyday piece it's in that silky material which you can see it's nice and thick um it has that insert in here that extra insert of fabric so you don't have to wear a bra with it if you don't want to um but yeah this is like my favorite I picked it up so I probably have four colors right now um I saw I think another nude but yeah, I don't, I don't think I got that because I had that nude. So I just picked up the black and white for now. And then I did, I wasn't going to get any pants, but I saw these shorts and I need a good pair of shorts. These are the, let me look at it, the mom fit shorts. I got them in a size eight and they're even still a little too big. Um, so, but I'm going to keep them because it's the mom fit. So oversized would not be bad. Um, and this is what they just look like. They come, I, I think it's really weird that they have this, um, that they have this metal, but then have the silver metal right here. Um, I mixed my metals, Alice, but I wish it would have came like in a gold or it would have just been all silver um, because it is like a faded jean. Um, so it's kind of weird that it comes in this, <laughs> in this metal and then comes in the silver metal. I don't know why I can't think of this metal right now, but whatever. Um, so yeah, they're just high-waisted. They're flipped. Um, sorry y'all. I'm doing horrible at this. Um, they come like this. I like the black czar right here. They're super cute and flattering. Um, and again, they were, let me see, they were $35.90 so in a size 8 and again um, I will say I usually wear a size 8 but they were even too big so I could have, I could have gotten a size 6 honestly so I would say maybe size down for these um, but they're super cute too if you like jeans like the mom jeans and you kind of want that oversized fit especially with a fitted shirt it's gonna look like it's gonna make you look way skinnier than what you are um these are a great options so yeah but this wraps up my come shopping with me um i'm probably gonna go back to the mall i'm whispering that because i don't want everybody to know <laughs> but i'm probably gonna go back um and see what else is out there i feel like i didn't get a lot um and that's because i just like to try on my clothes before i buy them but I did pick up like some essentials and some things that I know I'm going to wear right now. I told you guys that I'm very much an intentional shopper that I pick up things that I like. I know I'm going to wear all the time and I know that I need in my closet. So pretty much like the shorts, those two Zara tops or those three Zara tops, those are all like basics that I know I'm going to be wearing for <laughs> like, I'm probably, I honestly would have wore it yesterday, but I waited because I wanted to film this. Um, and then I'm gonna let you guys know how that pill goes too. I'm gonna do a video. I already did like a before picture, so I'm gonna let you guys know after the like the five treatments, which would be about two weeks. I'm gonna let you guys know how that goes. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit subscribe. Let me know if you want to see other come shopping with me. And I will see you guys in another video.